Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the really cool features uh, for interactive design in CS6. And what we want to really want to do here is what we have to have is, is we're going to do a lot with this folio overlays. This is where a lot of our cool toys, if you will, are, are kind of built into the program. We're going to look at, uh, let's start with what I like is, is the scrollable frame. This is going to be what we can do. We can do a couple things with this scrollable frame. That means you can scroll content. You can scroll photography or some photos to make a kind of a photo gallery, if you will. Uh, but let's let's do the one I really like is, is scroll scrollable content. Let's let's scroll some text here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go on ahead and and this is really good for when you have a limited window and this would be good for like recipes or a list of things that you want to keep. The list is too long to fit in the window, but you want to scroll up and down. And this is quite a popular feature in, in a lot of the iPad designs. But let's pull in some text here. We've got some type. We'll go in and get the uh, placeholder text. Fill that all in. And I'll make it a type that, so I'll go, let's say, let's make it a little larger, 14 over, uh, point over 18. Kind of air it out a little bit. And I'll just go with um, uh, times, make it easy so it's not complicated. And let's say I want to take and, and I'm going to place this as kind of on our cover and I'm going to place it right about here. And you'll see that the text is hard to see, but we'll fix that. I'm going to, I don't have a, I've got a three grid. I should have made a six grid here so we can do a, a grid, work the grid on a column and a half on this one. So we'll go a column and a half on, on that, that text. But what we're going to do is, is, is we're going to take and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to pull this over now. Well, let's, let's do this. I'm going to create a, um, a box that's going to be kind of a frame box. Let's um, actually pull this over a little bit. So we'll go over here and create a rectangle. And this is going to be the rectangle in which we are going to put our text. Because our text, you'll see, the text is really too tall. There's just some more text than it should be, okay? So what we'll do is we'll we created a frame. I'm going at, like I said, a, about a column and a half on that. I'll take this text over here and I'm going to place it just, I mean, you can you can go flush. I don't like to go flush, but I'm going to just kind of place it in. We can adjust this a little later and it's and we'll leave a little bit of a margin because the side, on the side, there'll be a scroll bar that's going to actually show up. It's a default. Uh, kind of a built-in feature that that is uh, kind of with the within design, and I'm going to cut Command X, and I'm going to select this content box, and I'm going to go edit, paste into, and it's kind of dark here, but what really is good about this, I'm going to actually make the text white. So while it's pasted inside, I can click inside of that, select all and um, I will give it a color fill of white. Okay, so there you got it. You see it, and it's all pasted inside. Now what we'll do is we'll take uh, with the cursor, solid cursor tool, I'm going to collect the, or at least select the content box. I'm going to go to my folio overlays, and I'm going to assign it. Uh, go scroll down, going a little slow here scrollable frame and up pops this option window scroll in the direction that I want it to scroll obviously we're going to read this up and down so we'll have it on vertical and I will select vertical you can also indicate there's a scroll indicator as I said the little scroll bar that it has you can hide it or you can click on it and that when we do the preview it will show you will be able to see the scroll bar to tell you how much content you have left and I always like to use that. So let's let's do that. And what we can do now with this selected, I'm going to select again. Uh, we'll take and look into the preview, and we'll look to preview this on the whoops the desktop. So it's going to open up my Adobe Content Viewer on the desktop, and it might take a little bit, but we will be able to see how this actually works. So now we have it here, it's loaded, 
And if I move my cursor, I can drag, and you can see that I can scroll my content. That's pretty cool. There you have that. That's for scrolling text. Now, if we want to make that a little bit better, there seems to be a little bit of noise in there. What, uh, with the background, what I might do is just take this rectangle object, and I'll probably create like a box, maybe a dark box. Just position, I'm doing this just you know on the fly. Get my color, palette, and fill it with black. Go under opacity up here. I can take up on this window up here and go to opacity. I'll go like uh, I go a nice round number, maybe 40%. Opacity. I'll grab that and my image, my photo in the back, and I'll go object, arrange, send to back. And there, now the pop, it takes a little bit of the noise out of the back. Uh, one of the things I didn't show you, and, and this is another tool, we're going to learn probably a few tools along the way. I didn't cover all of them in that previous um, tutorial. But let's do this. Um, let's take, and actually, uh, so certain things I like to, we can work with layers, and I'd probably prefer to put that photo, since it's a background image. I'm going to click on my layers tool. I'm going to create, well, let's work in layers. Let's go, let's call this layer one. We'll call this our text layer text content, whatever we want to call it. Okay, I'm going to create another layer, and I'm going to go new layer, and I'll call this background. You can do this if you want. You don't have to. It's not really important to the exercise, but I, I prefer to do this. And I'm going to put background behind, of course. Let's see, I'll move that there. So now it's in back. I'll take, grab this, and uh, cut, cut, slicked on my background, paste, just stick it back there and make sure it's all in position. Stick back there. Okay, there we go. So now we're, we're good to go. I Whoops, ooh, I selected. Be careful with that. You're going to probably do this mistake. I selected the actual Im image. I need to get the, the photo. I need to make sure I'm collecting the whole object so I don't move just the photo inside the content box. So there we go. Um, that's uh, we're all set up, and we just did a quick scrollable uh, text.